What's up y'all, Shady Peach here, and we're back with another opening. So today we are gonna be doing a trove battle between two different sets. Essentially, we're gonna take a trove from Into the Inklands and Shimmering Skies and see which one holds the better value today. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, I have our two troves here. Before we get into those, I do have some loose packs from each of these two sets. Um, since it's an unfair advantage because I have six packs for Shimmering Skies and only four packs at the moment for Into the Inklands, because Into the Inklands is a little bit more scarce than Shimmering Skies right now, we're going to be judging the value on the troves. This is just a little fun little extra pack battle that we got going on. So. I picked these two sets because Shimmering Skies is the newest set and we're obviously trying to collect as much of it as we can, but also Into the Inklands is my favorite set as of right now. So we are going to go ahead and just get right into it and see what we can do. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Whoop. There we go. Much better. All right. So we've got White Rabbit, Taffeta, Tuke, Shield of Arendelle, Merlin, Nala, Hideaway, Food Fight, Played Armor, Madame Mim, and a Coda. All right. Yeah, so I usually like to go in reverse order. So we'll start with Shimmering Skies and then move into the Inklands packs. This is just a little bit of a warm up before we get into those tropes. This is also probably the last video I'm gonna do before we go into Vegas. I do plan to shoot some footage while we're at Vegas for the Disney Lorcana Challenge. I always forget what it's called. Um, and I know plenty of you guys uh, locally. I know you guys will all be there. So come say hi. I'll, I'll want to be uh, meeting some YouTubers as well. Uh, I'm hoping to meet Joe Spessy or Forbidden Mountain. I know the Goons will be there. Uh, Steadfast will be there. So it'll be a ton of Lorcana uh, influencers that'll be at the event. Uh, I don't expect to do phenomenal um this particular format i've very much gone back and forth uh, i still say into the inklands was my favorite format for red blue even though if there was red purple everywhere i still was kind of able to fight it but yeah we'll definitely see what happens going into it um and i'm just going to have fun i'm also going to be joining a lot of side events i think side events are where, are where it's at in addition to doing a few sealed events, I'm also going to be entering the Villainous Tournament. For those of you that don't know, the company that made Lorcana, Ravensburger, um, mostly got its start with Villainous when it comes to their, their Disney sponsorship. Villainous is a great board game. I highly recommend it. It's very easy to learn. They've got a ton of expansions. Um, so yeah, I, I'm super excited for that. I think it'll be a nice break because it'll be a little bit of or Lorcana overload this weekend so we'll see how that goes that's actually pretty good bonsai right now has gone up tremendously in value so a foil one i will definitely take all day it's a great card i got my butt kicked by it last night <laughs> just at my locals all right let's finish off these shimmering skies packs and you know it's been a little bit since i've opened inkland so i'm excited to take a look into that I think Inklands is the one I have the most enchanteds for. I have quite a few enchanteds for Into the Inklands, so hopefully, ooh, another bonsai, very nice. Hopefully we can pull another. I don't know if we'll ever get a video quite like the last video I uploaded. You guys all remember how that went. That was very exciting, but you know, we'll, we'll never say never. I still haven't pulled two enchanteds in the same booster box. This was technically a unique situation where they were in two separate troves. So, I've never gotten one of those busted legendary booster boxes where people get two enchanteds. Apparently they exist, but I've never seen it. So, let's go ahead and finish off these Shimmering Skies, and then I'll go ahead and get these Inklands out of the way. Penelope Von Schweetz, Snow White, and a Simba. All right. What do we got? You can tell, uh, okay, this is just a thing for people that open packs. <laughs> um, every set, like this set feels different opening it up for Into the Inklands. It, it really does feel like they changed the 
the tightness of each pack. Well, also another thing to keep in mind, Inklands is the only one that has two of these market cards, so that might also be a, a factor in there. Or maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know. Maybe yellow just feels different. <laughs> All right, we got Milo Thatch, Mr. Snoops, Captain Hook's Rapier, Trigger, the Queen, Sorcerer's Hat, Tinkerbell, and a Dalmatian Puppy. Dalmatian Puffer. All right. Oh, I always forget. Two market cards. All right. So one thing that I'm also looking forward to, I'm hoping I can secure a slot tomorrow. Or is it today? I think it's today, uh, depending on when this video comes out. Uh, they're also doing pack rushes. Ooh, Morph, that's always a good card. Madam Odie and a Thimba. Good old Thimba. Um, yeah, so they're doing pack rushes at the uh, Lorcana DLC. So if you don't know what Pack Rush is, it's a very clever marketing idea. So with the exception of Into the Ink Lens, every pack comes with a marketing card. Into the Ink Lens comes with two. But let's say we're talking about the new, sh new set, Shimmering Skies, where it only comes with one. So Pack Rush, you take two packs, and you have a friend who also takes two packs. You open them both up, you take your two market cards, and you put it into your inkwell. So you start the game with just uh, 24 cards because you have your two packs and you have your two market cards as your ink and it's the first of 15 instead of 20 and you don't look at the cards that's also key so it's just a surprise so they are doing a uh oh whoa guys this one is open this one wasn't glued properly that's interesting i think this was just from a random booster box at a locals well is what it is. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Is there any surprises in here, Inklands? Oh my god, guys, look! This card is crimped as heck! This card is crimped as heck! You can, can you see that on camera? Holy cow! What if that's an enchanted? Oh my god. Oh. Some people would want that. <laughs> All right, let's see what it is. Oh, man. All right, I will find my way. Magic Broom, Louie, Gizmo Suit, Milo Thatch, Neverland. So if you don't know what crimping is, by the way, it's where the glue wasn't secure and the actual outline of them sealing it is on the card itself. So some people actually think that that's something that's valuable because it's not really a damaged card per se. Oh, we got a legendary. Oh wait, yeah, 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 we got a legendary in this. We got Jim Hawkins. I still feel like that this guy is going to be going up in value. He can only go up. You feel like he's an amazing card. All right, let's see what our crimped card is. I'm scared. Okay, it's just a flotsam. <laughs> Look at that. It's like he's got a comb attached to him. That is wild. Holy cow. All right, well, it's a common crimped card, so nothing too crazy. I'm glad that the Jim Hawkins was able to avoid uh, damage, but I mean, actually, it probably would have been better if it was a foil gem that was crimped. But here's what it is: we got a legendary out of all of those. So now we'll go ahead and move on to the troves. So we will start with shimmering, and then we'll move down the line to into the implants. So now the battle begins. Play your Final Fantasy music. I can't. It's copyright. All right. So we've got our eight packs. We've got our dice, we've got our sleeves, our little lore counter. Eh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, quick. Just making sure. All right. What do we have? Let's start. We got three Vanellopes, three Mauis, two ducks. So we'll knock out one of the Vanellopes. We'll start with a Vanellope and end with a Vanellope. That, sound, that seems pretty fair. Let's see. What can we get? All right, we've got Hypnotic Strength, Flarabelle, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. We've got Royal Guard, King Candy, Try Everything, Pacha, Arthur, Radigan, The Queen, and a Tug of War. All right. Boom. Okay. 
let's see. I am going to guess that the Shimmering Skies value will outshine Inklands, just because the value of Shimmering Skies is really high right now compared to Inklands. Um, obviously, if we pull something huge, it's all subjective, but we'll see. Got Sapphire Chromicon, Seven Dwarves Mine, We Know the Way, Sherwood Forest, and a Dopey. All right. Boom. Urgh. Boom. All right. Next up, we have Retrosphere. Ed. Radigan. Fix a Felix Jr. Kronk. Tanana. Fix a Felix Jr. again. All right. Merlin's Carpet Bag. Seven Dwarves Mine. Scar. That's the scar we pulled in Enchanted of, if you remember. Tug of War. And a Turbo. All right. So nothing yet. Starting off pretty slow. So far, our, I mean, if like I said, we weren't counting those loose packs, but Inklands has at least given us a legendary. Nothing yet from Shimmering Skies. Let's see. But you never know. It's not over till the fat lady sings. We've got Merlin. Whatever that is. Break free. Can I? When will my life begin? Medal of Heroes. Radigan's Party. Maleficent. Robin Hood. Pete. Scroop. And a gazelle. All right. Let's take out one of these Mauis. Let's see what else we got. Urgh. Oh, come on. Boom. All right. Next up, we've got Hypnotic Deduction, Snowana, Vanellope, Archimedes, Mickey Mouse, Prince John. Merlin's Carpet Bag, Taffeta Mutton Fudge, Pete, Magicka Dispel. Oh, we did hit a legendary. We've got an Arthur King Victorious. I think this is the legendary I've seen the least of in the entire set. And a Seven Dwarves Mine. All right. So we're on the board for Shimmering Skies. We have a legendary. And that is it. <laughs> All right, Shimmering Skies. You really need to kick it into gear gave us a legendary but it's one that no one asks for let's see next up we have Ed Radigan Penelope Anna Tanana Hey Hey Marlin's Carpet Bag Radigan's Party Sleepy Yago Minnie Mouse and another Seven Dwarves Mine oh, I'm getting a bunch of those all right, Shimmering Skies. Come on, you gotta perform. Gotta give us something. You're gonna get left in the dust by Inklands over here. All right. We've got, uh-oh, Zazu. Hopefully not another Zazu pack. We've got Kanai, Hypnotic Strength, Visions of the Future, Sneezy, Pacha, Tafta Mutton Fudge, Seven Dwarves Mine, The Queen, Okay. <laughs> I'm always like, yeah, legendary. And I'm like, oh, a legendary. <laughs> We've got Donald Duck Pie Slinger. All right. And a Pete Wrestling Champ. All right. So got the two least popular, I think I can confidently say that, legendaries in this set. Every time you get a Donald Duck as a legendary, you're kind of like, ugh. I don't know why... Lorcana does not like Donald Duck. They don't want to make any decent ones. Well, it is what it is. Urgh. All right. That's probably it for this trove, but let's see. Maybe Skies has one other one for us. All right. So we've got Obscure Sphere, I think is how you say it. Daisy Duck. Rut. Merlin. King Candy. Royal Guard. Maleficent. Robin Hood, try everything. The Queen, Anna, and final card for Shimmering, a Fixit Felix Jr. All right, Shimmering Skies. That was very disappointing. Gotta say, sometimes it be like that though. At least we pulled some legendaries. Ah. All right. Now let's see what Inklands has to offer. Urgh. 
I got this trove from Frankincense. So, could be anything. Woo. Let us see how we do. I do like the Into the Inklands one as well. It kind of has got that treasure planet, like, treasure map feel for their uh, lore counter. It's kind of neat. All right. We've got eight. Let's get rid of this dice. So let's see. Can Into the Inklands beat two legendaries or get better legendaries than the ones we just pulled? I think we can. I, I'm pretty confident we can. Woo! Let's get some Ursulas. How about that? Or Robin Hoods. That'd be great. Oh, Zazu. He's in every he's everywhere. I can't escape him. Got Lena Saberwing, Grandma Tala. Nottingham, Stitch, Orville, uh, Robin's Bow, Magic Broom, Wildcat's Wrench, Aurelian Gyro Sensor, Fang, and a Mama Odie. All right. Boom. Okay. Trick or treat, give us something good. That's right, Halloween's around the corner. We got Sir Hiss, Yago, Maid Marion, Gizmo Suit, Heal What Has Been Hurt, Prince Sean, Captain X Rapier, Trigger, Sorcerer's Hat, Gustav the Giant, and a. I guess there's another Sir Hiss. Wait, didn't we see Sir Hiss earlier? But he was like the same thing, but different artwork? Oh, it's the same. Okay, it's the same thing. He's just fo uh, foil. <laughs> okay, I'm losing it. All right. I don't know why that panicked me. There's plenty of Simbas in the game. Why did seeing two Sir Hisses throw me off? Even if it was different artwork. All right. We've got Abraga. Ab Agraba. <laughs> We've got Diablo. Pluto. Baboom. Heal What Has Been Hurt. Last Ditch Effort. Wendy Darling. Prince John. Minnie Mouse. Mama Odie. And Dalmatian Puppy. going. Uh. Alright, next up. We have Strike a Good Match, The Queen, Kit Cloud Kicker, Olympus would be that way, Della Duck, Cleansing Rainwater, Rise of the Titans, Dive Bomb, Dewey, Treasure Guardian, Okay, that's a decent legendary. We've got a Perdita. So we've got one on the board. And, uh, okay, a foil, how far I'll go. Actually, it's just a common, or an uncommon, so that one's not too crazy. But we got a Perdita. I will take it. That guy is actually sometimes used, depending on what amber combination you've used. Uh, you're running at the moment. All right, so we want to see if we can pull... At least one more legendary to tie with Shimmering Skies. Or if we pull three, then it's clearly an Inklands victory. It almost is, just because we pulled that Jim Hawkins compared for four to six when it came to the amount of packs that we opened for Shimmering to Inklands. So I would almost just guarantee give it to Inklands at this point. All right. Come on. Give me something. What do we got? What do we got? We've got a Jetsam. Magic Broom. Grandma Tala. Olympus would be that way. Peter Pan. Kida. 99 Puppies. Wildcat. Magic of Dispel. Heart of Atlantis. Map of Treasure Planet. And a Raleigh. Boom. All right. Last two packs. Last two packs. Let's see. Not the craziest level of value in this opening, that's for sure. All right, we've got Kakamora, Sir Hiss, Yago, Maid Marion, Gizmo Suit, Orville, 
Raleigh, Ursula, Samaranian Talisman, Mufasa. That's pretty good. Okay, okay. Ursula saving the day. We've got an Ursula Deceiver of All. I think that's that and Robin Hood are the best legendaries in this set. So that's pretty good. And a Stratos. Okay, so I think it's safe to say with that Ursula, we are officially winning at this point when it comes to Ink. Well, Inklands is officially winning. I don't know about me. <laughs> I spent the money on all of these things, so is what it is. So final pack. Let's see. Is there anything more special in this Inklands trove? I mean, I probably not. It's got two legendaries that are decent, so that's probably all she wrote. But let's see. I've been wrong before. I'll be happy to be proven wrong. All right, we got Webby Vanderquack, Milo Thatch, Magic Broom, Repair, Mickey Mouse, Mr. Snoops, Scrooge's Top Hat, Lithos, Maui, RLS Legacy. Scrooge McDuck, and final card of the night, Akita. All right. Very dramatic there at the end. All righty, guys. So when it comes to legendaries from these two troves, I think it's clear that Ink to the Inklands definitely took the cake when it came to value over these guys, at least at this current set and format that we're in right now. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. It was kind of an okay opening. I mean, the Ursula definitely helped save the day. So it is what it is. I, I was kind of not expecting anything granular after pulling those two enchanteds. That was wild. But yeah, I will see everyone at Vegas. I hope everyone that attends has fun. I wish luck to everybody. I will be filming a little bit at Vegas just to do maybe some pack openings or things of that nature. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one.